let's talk about the radioactivity this is one of the major area under this radioactivity we are going to talk about the alpha particle the beta particles and gamma rays it's alpha rays beta rays and gamma rays now we are going to talk about these things so here is the index the radioactivity details and alpha beta and gamma rays and its properties so this is the one we are going to see it shall we start is it interesting for you let's see radioactivity the phenomenon of radioactivity was discovered by the great physicist and scientist mr henry becquerel in the year of 1896 henry becquerel found that a photographic plate wrapped in a black paper was affected by certain penetrating radiations emitted by the uranium salt oops that's how he found that there is something is beyond so this is the photographic plate wrapped in a black paper and was affected by certain penetration by uranium salts from there rutherford showed that later that the radiation from the salt were capable of ionizing a gas the current produced due to the ions was taken as a measure of activity of the compound So a few years later madam Marie Curie and her husband Pierre Curie discovered that the highly radioactive elements radium and polonium the activity of the material has been shown to be the result of three different kinds of radiations thus alpha beta and gamma these are the rays the phenomenon of spontaneous emission from one state it move to the other state from there it will emit something so that's called spontaneous emission such as uh, alpha beta and gamma rays by heavy elements having atomic number greater than 82 that's referred to as radioactivity and the substance which emit this radiation are called as radioactive elements The radioactive phenomenon is a spontaneous and is unaffected by any external agent like temperature, pressure, electrical and magnetic fields. 